When Hurricane Katrina made landfall in August of 2005, it caused devastating flood damage to much of southeastern Louisiana, a disaster that remains fresh in the minds of many Americans to this day. While there isn't much good to take away from such a historic tragedy, it did lay bare a glaring weakness in United States infrastructure, bringing awareness to an important but often overlooked facet of society. People often think of infrastructure as just roads, but it's so much more than that. Waterways, stormwater systems, there'd be airports, bridges, port of entries, levees. Well, one of the underlying factors was the rising coastal water had a negative impact on how severe Katrina was. Uh, the condition of the levees was severely inadequate and also exposed the, the condition of our stormwater system. Unfortunately, everyday wear and tear, coupled with an increasing wave of natural catastrophes, doesn't exactly paint American infrastructure with a hopeful brush. Every four years, the American Society of Civil Engineers publishes its report card on the condition and performance of America's infrastructure. Its most recent report from 2017 grades U.S. infrastructure at a D. I think the condition of the overall infrastructure of the country is in poor shape. Because of lack of funding over a large number of years, the, the expansion of the road system has not been part of the priority has been prioritizing the, the maintenance. You go to some of the larger urban areas, they don't have uh, a rush hour in the morning, the rush hour in the afternoon. They basically, it's all day rush hour. Take a city like Atlanta, Birmingham, uh, LA, uh, they're, they're just not able to keep up with the population growth, and thus the lane miles are short. Thus, the congestion is three times greater than it, it was in 1984. Most roads fail from the bottom. So if, they, if they're not adequately protected between the soil and the aggregate or the rock, you'll have a perpetual issue with potholes. Now, if you go down the highway and you see slopes, cut slopes on the highway, and you see reeling on the highway, that's really erosion. Channels, rivers, streams, levees was a huge issue with what went on in New Orleans. So all of those uh, applications I just described are susceptible to erosion. I think what people don't understand is that sediment is going into our waterways and can cause not only pollution, but can also be in a situation where you can have loss of life and that type of thing. So it's very, very important that we control it. Surprisingly, technology that could very well hold the key to protecting vital parts of America's precious infrastructure has existed for several decades. While what is known as geotextiles and geosynthetics have the ability to mesh with soil and other materials to reinforce a wide array of structures, they are only being specified in about 10% of possible applications throughout North America. A geotextile can be a non-woven needle punch material or you can have it woven. Basically, they are laid on roadways or they are laid in wrapping drainage pipes for filtration, but also on the highway to reinforce for better strength characteristics and the long-term performance of the pavement. There's a variety of materials that are geosynthetic in nature with different applications. So these applications are from the standpoint of helping with sediment control, they help replace rock riprap or ballast in roadways and can extend the pavement life, extend vegetation, a lot of different applications that we can improve, but also reduce our carbon footprint and all those types of applications from an environmental perspective. If we are spending tax dollars on these infrastructure projects, we need to make sure that they're going to last. Luckily, Propex Geosolutions has decades of rigorous testing and innovation under its belt firmly establishing itself as the premier manufacturer of geosynthetic and erosion control solutions. In the wake of Katrina, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers embarked on one of the largest and most comprehensive public works projects in American history in establishing the Hurricane Storm Damage Risk Reduction System. Propex's engineered earth armoring system was selected by the Corps to rebuild and strengthen several million square yards of levees in the New Orleans area. 
spent a lot of time in New Orleans with all of the decision makers in New Orleans, including the governor. Uh, we also spent a lot of time in Washington with Senator Landry, Senator Vitter, and the head of the Corps, General Bo Temple, and getting all these concepts. And what we found was it has to be tested, absolutely has to be tested. So the Corps of Engineers put together a, uh, a task force uh, at Colorado State University where we actually tested these materials in a wave actuated system for overtopping and it's just an awesome facility. When you sit there on that testing facility and that water's coming down that slope, you can feel it. I mean, it's very, very strong. The results of that testing basically result in a half a billion dollar contract to armor the levees in New Orleans on the backside. While Propex Geosolutions has provided a durable, effective answer to extreme weather events, the use of geotextiles for roads, bridges, and tarmacs can make an immediate impact on resources we depend on every day. Uh, the use of geosynthetics in infrastructure applications, uh, we use them in many ways to improve performance or reduce cost. These are extremely durable materials. Most of what we deal with are made out of polypropylene. You've got very inert, very stable products that can last up to 200 years in most environments. There's huge opportunities to adopt more uses of, the, of our products uh, that would significantly improve the quality of life across the board. How do you address the issues that we have in infrastructure with less money with less funding and our products provide a means for that. California and Texas are leading the way with the adoption of geotextiles and they have seen substantial savings. We see a savings of 20 percent on every new lean mile and 33 percent on every repair and the numbers we're talking about are, are substantial, two billion dollars a year. Offering an ease of installation and a proven track record of improving useful design life, Propex continues to offer solutions that help build and rebuild America's infrastructure, all while offering products that are environmentally sustainable. At Propex, what we've done is pioneer the trilobal fiber. It's a clover leaf type of uh, cross section. And what that does is it traps water within the grooves of the fiber through uh, surface tension and allows us to have better vegetated growth because we're providing more water to the plant as the vegetation matures. This is extremely unique and it's innovative. Looking at it from a different perspective, it's trying to find the, the correct solution, the best solution, the most innovative solution for that. Big part of our business is meeting standards. So you can imagine if, if you have an investment that you're making on a highway or a levy or slope stabilization or repairing a dam, you want to have product that's going to perform. We take a lot of pride in the product that we provide, in the services that we provided, and it's very rewarding to see the security that comes with that. And so it's, it's critical that we meet those standards because failure can be catastrophic. Levees, retention ponds, railroads, shorelines, highways, the application of Propex Geo Solutions are seemingly endless. To learn more about markets served by Propex Geo Solutions and to view its complete product portfolio, visit propexglobal.com.